This happened to me twice, all right? Two different times with two different women. You know, my mom, she was always the type, like, she was a hustler. She was in the streets up in L.A. I grew up in L.A., South Central L.A., all right? So, you know, she she used to shoot dice. She used to sell dope. My mom did what she had to do to make sure we were straight. You know, she wasn't the smartest person. She didn't really have too much of an education, but, you know, I'm the oldest out of 10 kids, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, she, she tried. All our daddies left. Every single last one of them. 10 kids, 10 different daddies. Real shit, you know what I'm saying? Not to put no dirt on my mama, but that's just, that just how she was. We never was starving. But my mom, like I said, she would go out and try to make a way. So, you know, at this point, I thought she went around the block or around the corner or whatever the case, like she do every day. She'll leave the house, go for a couple of hours, then come back home. So, you know, when she gone for about three or four hours, come to find out, my cousins and my auntie telling us my mom went to jail. You know, for counterfeit money, for fake money. She was at the fucking Ralph's around the corner trying to get... Some groceries were like $300 of fake money and she went to jail for it, all right? Didn't nobody come to the house. A few of us kind of got separated within the family. Some stayed here, some stayed there, that type of shit. So when she did go to jail, fucking I went all the way out there to Lancaster. Lancaster is probably about an hour and a half away from L.A. So when I went to Lancaster, I did not like that shit at all. Like, I was missing home. I was crying like a motherfucker. Like, I was not feeling it. You know what I'm saying? And, my cousins was out there, but at the same time, you know how, like, you got family, but you ain't seen them in so long, y'all got nothing in common. You don't want to be around them. Like, not to put no smut on them, not to be like, oh, I don't like y'all motherfuckers with the woo-woo, but you used to this L.A. life. You used to what you had over here, you know what I'm saying? So, at the time, I was so frustrated, like, mama, I need to get the fuck out of here because she was calling, like, to check up on it. So, she finally, like, all right, okay, you can go back to L.A. with the woo-woo, you know, and it was a train ride. I was able to get on the train. She okayed it. She all came in to go stay with her homegirl that stayed next door to us. So when we when I went over there, at the time I was 12 years old, my mom was up in jail. This was one of her best friends. I'm 12 years old. So I go there, everything gravy. You know, I'm there for about three days or whatever. I go to the homie house. I come back. When I come back to the house, you know, her husband is usually there. Nobody ain't there. It's just me and her. So when I come back to the house, I go straight to the room where I was sleep at. You know, she had a three-bedroom house, one empty room, one room where she had, like, a grip of shit up in there. That's why I was sleeping at. Then, of course, her and her husband room, you know what I'm saying? So, I end up hearing, like, some moaning or whatever, and I know this nigga not there. So, I'm sitting in the room. I'm in the cut. Like, what the fuck is that noise? Like, I'm 12 years old, but I know when somebody fucking. You know, so I sneak out the room. I go, look, and listen, I hear some porno. Then I see her, like, when I get a little bit closer, I see somebody asshole naked. And it's her. Like, I get scared to the motherfucker. I hear up and run back to the room. So this time, like, my dick is harder than a motherfucker. This is my first time ever seeing a naked woman, like, on my actual eyes. Like, my own two eyes besides TV in real life. That was my first time. So in the room, I'm like, oh, she can see me. At the same time, my dick is harder than a motherfucker. My hormones is racing, yada, yada, yada. So, and I'm scared. Like, real shit. I'm scared than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting there. I end up turning on this when 007 was cracking. The Nintendo 64. I turn on 007, whatever. I'm playing the game. The she call me out, woo woo, my real name is Darrell, she called me out, Darrell, come here, woo woo woo, so, I'm like, damn, like, I know she dressed, I hope she didn't find it, like, she didn't see me look in this motherfucking room, I hope I ain't in trouble, so when I go up in there, the porno is still playing, and she's sitting on the bed, asshole naked, no lie, like, she's sitting right there on the bed, she's like, come here, you know, so I'm sitting right there, I'm like, what's up, even though I don't want to say, like, this weird as fuck, what is she doing, because now, my dick is soft in the motherfucker, I'm scared at this point, you know what I'm saying, like, what the fuck is she doing, why am I sitting on this bed with her asshole naked, you know what I'm saying, this lady is probably like 30 years old, I'm 12 years old at this point, you know, so she asked me, oh, you got a girlfriend, and, um, have you ever had sex before, and do you tell people a lot of stuff, so the whole time, I'm like, no, I don't have no girlfriend, which I don't know. I don't have sex, which I don't. And as far as me telling people, like, telling people what, my answer is just no. And so when I'm talking to her, she pulls down my pants. No bullshit. You know, I cannot make this shit up. She pulls down my pants, turn around, put my hands on her ass, sit down on my lap, all right? When she sit down on my lap, she probably move around a little bit for like five seconds. My dick hard than a motherfucker. She get on her knees and start sucking my dick. Now, my mind is just racing like a motherfucker. Even though I'm letting her do it, I'm scared to the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my mama homegirl. I'm not knowing what's going on still. 
You know what I mean? She lay me down on the bed, then get on top of me, fucking me. Now she moaning. Now my mind's like, this is like the movies. I'm a grown man now. You know what I'm saying? I'm 12 years old. I'm like, this is a grown woman. I'm fucking a grown woman. And you know, I'm so much into the moment, I'm not even realizing like this lady is taking my virginity. That's not even on my mind at this point. I'm not realizing that I'm being raped. That's not on my mind at this point. The only thing I'm concerned about is what the fuck am I doing right here? Like, am I going to get in trouble for this shit? Is her husband going to come home and beat my ass? Because he could do it with one hand at this point. I was a little nigga. A little skinny nigga. I ain't... Psh, I was a little nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when she finished... No, when I finished at this time, I bust a nut. She get up, she give me a kiss, tell me not to tell nobody. I'm scared as fuck. I go in the room, I start crying. All night, all morning, I'm crying like, man, I couldn't even sleep. You know what I'm saying? So when I do end up falling asleep, probably around 4.30 in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, we wake up around 9 something. Now at this point, she waking up with her husband there. Then she calls me in there to get something to eat while this nigga is at the motherfucking table. Talking to me like ain't nothing. Just like this shit didn't happen last night. Now she got my mind thinking like, did I dream this bullshit? Did this shit happen or not? Then I'm just looking at the scenarios. And then when this nigga go ahead and leave again for work, probably around one or two. She like, you hope you ain't tell nobody. We can do it again. Yada, 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 whatever. Now I want to go home. But guess what? I didn't want to get up and just hurry up and leave because she would have known. I didn't want her to think like, oh, he's scared as fuck or oh, he going to tell. So he's going to hurry up and leave. So I sat there for like another two or three days. She tried to, but I act like I was asleep. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning this game at 12 years old. That motherfuckers play at 30 and 40 years old. How grown ups play. They want to play like they sleep so they ain't got to have sex with their spouse or have sex with their boyfriend or girlfriend. I'm 12 years old playing like I'm asleep so I won't get raped or have sex with this lady because I know it's wrong. And like I said, I'm not thinking I'm getting raped. I'm not thinking like, oh, I'm losing my virginity or she growing. The whole thing, I'm thinking like, I'm scared. Like, this is wrong. I know I'm not supposed to be doing this shit. And she in the house. She running the house. Ain't nobody going to stop it. She want this. It's going to happen. So the only thing I can do is act like I'm sleeping. Then, after a while, I went home. I hopped on the train and went home and didn't tell my mama until 10 years later. I'm just now telling my mama. You know what I'm saying? My mama is furious about the shit. It happened. It happened. I was really raped. Now that I'm grown and I look at it, I was really raped. And now let me tell y'all about the second time. All right? The second time I was raped, it happened. Um, okay, my mom and them, they used to go to this club up in Compton. It's called Bistro 880s. Either my mama leave us at home, if it's probably about eight or nine of us, because like I said, all my aunties would go. So my aunties had kids, and we was all around the same age, probably like a two or three years difference. So if it's like eight or nine of us, she'd leave, they'd leave us all at home. All at my mama's house in the apartment, just boom, they kick it there. And we wait till they come home in the morning. Alright, so on this particular night, fucking my mom homegirl, you know what I'm saying? Her name Letitia, my mom homegirl, she fucking, her daughter had a slumber party for all girls. Her daughter had a slumber party. My mom then went to the club, everybody over Letitia house, whoop, slumber party cracking. Ain't no boys there, but I'm there. So she had a little townhouse upstairs, downstairs. Fucking slumber party was downstairs. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I'm 13 years old. The slumber party downstairs. So the girls have a big ass slumber party. I'm upstairs playing the game all night. I take my motherfucking game over there. I'm playing all night. You hear them laughing, joking, watching movies, eating all that shit downstairs. So around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, everybody going to sleep. And fucking when Letitia come in the room, she asked me what I'm playing. Did she play one game with me? She played one game with me. And I used to like her because this is around the time I started smoking weed and shit. You know what I'm saying? So if my mama would leave, if my mama go outside, walk to the store or whatever, she'd let me hit the blunt and shit. She was doing this for like five or six months. She'd let me hit the blunt real quick and I'd go outside, blast it like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, while we up in there playing the game, she called me back in her room. After she played her little game, she called me back in her room. She's smoking. So I'm like, cool, I'm finna get high, go to sleep, boom. Good night for me, or I'm finna get high, high, play. Wherever my mind was, get high, play the game, or get high and go to sleep, or whatever. So, I'm smoking, whatever. She give me the blunt. Then she go in there and take a shower. I'm gonna walk to the room. She like, oh, you can stay right here. I'm gonna just close the door. I'm like, all right, cool. When she come out, no lie, she come out asshole, naked. You know what I'm saying? And this woman is like, you know, not, not even the type that you attracted to. She was like 300, 350 pounds. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm 13 years old at the time. So when she get out the shower, you know, asshole naked, I look, and my mind just, like, my butterflies, it was like I was on a roller coaster. The shit was just scary than a motherfucker. 
know what I'm saying? I just like can't believe this lady. She has some big ass titties, a big old like. I'm just like, oh my, like what is she doing? She passed me the blunt. I mean, she like passed me the blunt. I give her the blunt or whatever. Then she has some Vaseline sitting on the table. You know what I'm saying? She turned my stomach. She like, rub this Vaseline on my ass for me. I said, huh? And she like, boy, get the Vaseline just rubbing on my ass. We ain't doing nothing. So I'm like, okay, you know, and just like, here we go again. I'm 13 years old. Everybody else downstairs sleep. Everybody knock the fuck out. We upstairs. So I'm rubbing the Vaseline on her ass. While I'm rubbing the Vaseline on her ass, she laying on her stomach. She rolling another blunt at the time. She breaking down some weed, rolling another blunt. So she spark it up and she smoke it. She sparked the blunt. She smoke it. She passed it to me. Boom. So, you know. When I pass it back, I act like I got to go use the bathroom. I'm so motherfucking scared. I go to the bathroom so I can go cry. Like, how the fuck can I get out of this situation? Now, again, this is my mama home, girl. You know what I'm saying? So, when you go to the bathroom, like, fucking her room, all right, when you go up the stairs, her room would be right here. That's one way in her room. And the other way to her to her bathroom is a laundry room. So, it's upstairs, her room right here. Then it's a little laundry room. Then you can go to the bathroom. Alright, so on my way out the bathroom, after I finish using the bathroom, or act like I'm using the bathroom, crying or whatever, I come out the bathroom, she meet me right there in the laundry room. No lie, her big ass picked me up, like a baby, like under my, you know how you pick a baby up under the armpits? Put me on the dryer and start sucking my dick on the dryer. No lie. I'm sitting right there crying like a motherfucker while I'm getting my dick sucked. No bullshit. And I'm 13 years old at the time. Now, one of my attracted to her, like, I am... <clears throat> This lady, at this time, like, I already know what type of females I want. It was a nice, little, pretty, young females with braces. This is what I liked it when I was 13 years old. Somebody that looked like me. For this to be happening to me again, for her to be sucking my dick like that, can't nobody hear me. Like, not that I was screaming, couldn't nobody hear us having sex. And I know after this point, I can't say nothing. So at this time, I'm thinking if she talked to the other girl, Kim, like, oh, yeah, you know I raped Darrell. Did you, you want to rape him too? He easy. He ain't going to say nothing. I don't know what the fuck they was thinking, but she did that shit like it was nothing. So that next morning, I heard, I catch the bus home. I didn't wait for my mama to come back. I catch the bus home probably like 7.30 in the morning. And she asked me, when she asked me like, why I do that, I said, so we can go back to the apartments and play basketball. And like I said, 10 years later, I told my mama about her. And my mama started breaking down in tears about that. You know, it just like, you just never know what the fuck is happening. And at a young age, you just can't. I know if I would have said something, I know for a fact if I would have said something, people would have laughed at me. People would have joked on me, like, how you crying that you fuck somebody? I would have loved to get my dick sucked. Then I would have known it would have cost my mama to fall out of a relationship with her friends. It would have caused fights. It would have caused, like, my mama was cool as fuck with these motherfuckers. And not only that, my sisters was cool with them. You know what I'm saying? My sisters was cool with her daughters, with both of their daughters. So even though, like I tell my mom, I'm a grown-ass man now, I seen the women after this. We had conversations or whatever the case. You know, they ain't never brought it up to me. They know what they did, but they ain't never said sorry. They ain't never, like, acknowledged me. They just talked to me like, oh, how you doing? How your kids doing? Yada, yada, yada. Like, life was just great. But now that I'm older, I realize I was raped twice. I was raped twice. So if you don't think, like, little boys can get raped, they can get raped. And not by other men. I'm talking about females. You know, whenever your kids start acting weird around a certain motherfucker, that motherfucker is doing something to your kid. Don't fucking ignore that. You know what I'm saying? And I guess my mama never picked up the signals when every time they come around, I leave. Or I play like I'm sick. Or I be at school till like 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't want to come home. Or I be sitting on the porch. Or I stay in my fucking room. You know what I'm saying? My mama never picked up on those signals. She just probably thought I was giving her time or a little space and privacy with her company. You know what I'm saying? But at the time, I was just scared of them. They'd come over there every day after they raped me and never said nothing. No apology, no nothing. You know, you just got to watch out who you have around your kids, man. I'm going to holler at y'all later.